the topic is titled non parametric power spectrum estimation but before exactly starting the approach non parametric here we will like to first of all have some light or focus on to the chapter title that it is the power spectrum estimation here so power spectrum estimation is with respect to the parameter that we have derived understood into the previous unit that sometimes we have called simply the power spectrum or power spectral density so this parameter is with respect to a wide sense stationary random process the case we have already learned into the previous chapter here now what is this power spectrum or the power spectrum density as with respect to the random variables and the random processes we have learned the first order and the second order statistical characterizations in terms of the ensemble averages one of the important second order statistical characterization is nothing but the auto correlation here so finding out the fourier transformation of the auto correlation sequence gives us the power spectrum or the power spectral density generally we have represented for the random process x of n by capital p sub x x as a function of e to the power j omega so as we know here that power spectrum or power spectral density is the fourier transformation of the auto correlation sequence so our chapter title is power spectrum estimation so this problem of estimating the power spectrum we can also see to have estimation of first of all the auto correlation sequence here so estimating the auto correlation sequence the auto correlation sequence whereas mathematically expressed by this formulation the right hand side gives us the representation into the symbolic form for the auto correlation sequence of the random process x of n so this is r sub x x as a function of k so x is the suffix that is representing for which particular random process this auto correlation sequence is so r x of k so it can be computed by having the limit for capital n tends to infinity over 1 upon twice n plus 1 in multiplication to the summation carried on m is equal to minus n to plus n for the multiplication of x of n plus k to the conjugate of x of n here so the power spectrum estimation looks to be a very straight forward that first of all determine the auto correlation sequence and then we can have the computation of the fourier transformation but the practical working of the power spectral estimation is faced with the two difficulties therefore the power spectral estimation becomes a typical part interesting one and a challenging problem into the advanced digital signal processing so here we consider first of all whatever the amount of data that one has to process one has to work with is never unlimited and in many of the cases it may be very small so this is the first limitation is faced by the straight forward issue that we have seen for power spectral estimation the example of this particular difficulty can be in terms of the examples listed as seismic data from the earthquake or the speech signal as well so if you take the example of the earthquakes so earthquake is lasting for a very short period of time so into that very short period of time processing that much amount of data is not always a possible thing here so the power spectral estimation efficiency is challenging in such application here as per as the speech signal is also concerned the extent to which this particular speech signal holds the information that varies to the specific application to application there now along with the first difficulty that is the amount of data that anyone has to work with is never unlimited 
and it is a very small most of the time we have the second difficulty also the second difficulty is that the data that is often to be processed is mostly found corrupted because of the contamination what we can call to be a noise here or the interference into the wanted signal here so therefore looking at both of these difficulties into the consideration practically we find the power spectrum estimation to be a problem that involves estimation of the power spectrum here we have represented mathematically capital p sub x x as a function of e to the power j omega from a finite number of noisy measurements of x of n here so yes we have to make the use of probability theory so here we are going to make the use finite number of measurements and that too are noisy here so finite term that we take from the first difficulty and noisy term that we take from the second difficulty that just now we have discussed for the practical random process here so this was all with respect to the details of chapter title power spectrum estimation now we shall have addition of some more information to why the power spectrum estimation is there so in this regard the spectrum estimation we consider to be a problem very important in the variety of different fields and the applications there let us take one example so in this example the frequency response of a non causal wiener smoothing filter can be represented mathematically by this expression we represent the frequency response this is the filter function into the frequency domain h as a function of e to the power j omega so it is in terms of capital p sub x d as a function of e to the power j omega in the numerator divided by the same p sub x d as a function of e to the power j omega added to p sub x v as a function of e to the power j omega here so in this representation the p sub x d e to the power j omega a function of so this is nothing but the power spectrum of a random process or signal what we can call that is the d of n desired output of the wiener filter here whereas there it is another similar parameter represented p sub x v as a function of e to the power j omega this is nothing but the power spectrum of the noise signal that we can represent v of n here so for this example of wiener smoothing filter we can have design and implementation for the purpose of power spectrum of both of the d of n and v of n signals so both should be considered at a time before the design and the implementation here so as we know here these power spectral densities are generally required to be known a prior information most of the times the estimation of the measurements is required to have this particular knowledge so now what are the various applications those require the power spectrum estimation that we see here so the list of other some estimation problems uh, except this particular example can be given one by one as the signal detection and the tracking harmonic analysis and prediction time series extrapolation and the interpolation the spectral smoothing the bandwidth compression beam forming and direction finding here so these are the various applications where the power spectrum estimation is required now for the power spectrum estimation what are the approaches with which we can have the accomplishment of this particular task so we generally have the two approaches those can be categorized as the non parametric and the parametric here for the first case we call non parametric or classical approach here which includes the estimation of the autocorrelation sequence so already we have represented what is the autocorrelation sequence so whatever the given data we have from that 
the autocorrelation sequence r sub x x sub k is to be first of all estimated this is the first step and later on the power spectrum is to be estimated by the use of fourier transformation of this estimated autocorrelation sequence here so there shall be the two roles of autocorrelation the original autocorrelation sequence and the estimated autocorrelation sequence so originally we can be representing it r sub x x sub k the estimation we can represent it to be r sub x x r cap here it is to be mentioned for the estimate here and further the fourier transformation is to be carried out for this estimation here so this is what the first and the simple approach called as the non parametric approach here in this non parametric approach the various techniques are listed as the periodogram the modified version of the periodogram the bartlett's method the welch's method the blackman 2k approach also belong to this particular category here next to the non parametric approach of spectrum estimation we have the parametric approach here so in the parametric approach the non classical methods are included so these are basically based on use of a model for the process that is the random process in order to have estimation of the power spectrum so here we have introduced basically both the approaches non parametric that is the topic title here and its comparison with the another approach so later it will be addressed in the same chapter that is the parametric approach of power spectrum estimation